Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon's Dungeons vs. Cookies and Cream. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a really, really simple and easy recipe. Um, it is super delicious for kids, super healthy, and it's like just so delicious. So what we are going to be making today is we are going to be making a frozen yogurt fruit berry um, like pudding cup. It's like ice cream, basically, and it's all homemade. You will have these ingredients in your house. I'm pretty sure you do. And so, super easy, super delicious, and very healthy, very nutritious, and healthy for kids. So, let's get into the video. So, what you will need is, you will need some yogurt, any type of yogurt. You could use, like, regular yogurt, but I don't recommend using that, like, because it's not going to be sweet, like, as much as sweet. I would recommend like, the flavor you want to do for your ice cream. So, this is, this is organic. This is creamy. Really, really thick. It's expensive, that's why. It's super thick um, yogurt. It's just, like, vanilla. Like, it's very lightly sweeted. And in the bottom, there's raspberry jam on it. So, I'm going to use a... You don't this type of brand you could use any it could be even a big pack of yogurt that you're gonna use just do it um like what flavor you're going to actually use it from so that's what i recommend and then the next thing you will need are berries um sorry you can't really see it because my container is wet because i washed the berries so i'm using blueberries um, you could use any type of berry, berries or fruits you like, but I think berries work the best with this recipe because I've tried banana and other types, but I think berry works the best. So, um, this is non-frozen, so it's just regular fresh berries. I also have frozen berries. You could, like, honestly use any type of berries you want. You could use frozen or like regular berries because you are going to freeze them anyway so it doesn't really matter and then you'll also need a something to mix with like a spoon and you'll also need a bowl that like freezable bowl like like freezable like safe bowl so that's what i think is good i'm using this really cute one i love it it's really small so it's perfect so let's get into the video so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to open my yogurt cup this yogurt is the best it's one of my favorite brands actually so this is like not too sweet or anything this is just lightly sweetened yogurt so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to get the jam but i'm sure you if you guys have this i don't think don't get the jam out just have the yogurt so just scoop out your yogurt and put it into your dish super thick and creamy so i'm gonna finish do um putting this into my cup and i'll see you guys after i'm done so guys i finished adding my yogurt i actually decided to add the jam because i don't know it just looks super nice i just i just played with it around so it's like super marbly and beautiful so now we're going to add our berries into our dish to make it even more healthier so first, um, I'm going to add my non-frozen blueberries. So what we want to do with it is, oops. So what we want to do with it is you're just going to grab um, a little bit. You can use your spoon. You just want to like a little bit, like squeeze it a little bit so that when you freeze it. Um, so, okay, just, I'll just make it simple for you guys. So I'm just going to add a few berries. I don't want to add too much or else it'll just be very too berry-ish. Just gonna add some berries. I love berries. It's like my most favorite fruits. I think raspberry is my favorite. Raspberry and strawberry. My most favorite. So these two. Okay, so now I've, I've finished adding those. What I'm going to do is I'm just gonna mush them and put them to the side so they'll turn purple. Just mush them for more flavor. I'm just going to push it to the side. Wait, I'm just going to set the camera up for a second. Give me a second, please. So, guys, um, 
So what you want to do, so I, like, you guys know what I mean, right? So I'm just going to, like, push it against the wall. And I'm just going to squish it a little bit so that you the fruit is actually sinking into the yogurt. It's super thick and creamy. So I'm going to finish doing that, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, guys, I just finished it. I just smoothed out the top. And then now it's time for the presentation. So you could just sprinkle on some berries um, if you want to, like blueberries, if you want to, you can sprinkle them on. But what I want to do is I'm going to add a few non-frost blueberries, but I, I'm going to add some frozen berries. Like, because this pack has all of the berries. This also has, has blueberry, raspberry, black, blackcurrant, blackberries, strawberries, and yeah that's all it has like that's a lot like five berries so i'm gonna pick out a few and actually and i'll see you guys so i picked out a few i got some blackberries black currants strawberries lots of raspberries i got three of those so now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna decorate it put them around they're actually frozen so it's really cold and i'm touching it i'm just gonna plop them all over honestly it's actually like a it's actually really fun making this you just go play around add any flavor whatever you like so no stressing out if it doesn't work so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna let this freeze in my freezer for about one to two hours um so this is a really delicious snack or you could actually make a lot of these you know you could actually do this in muffin tins and put it in the freezer it's much faster and it's actually much easier. So you can plate it and give it to guests if they come to your house. So this is the finished product. So I'm gonna put it in the freezer and I'll, I'll definitely make a video. I'll make another video of like what it looks like after it's frozen. So if you like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.